Hey guys, RC here. We're back with Football Manager 20. This is Home on the Range Rovers. Our Forest Green save. And I'm just knocking my desk all over the place here. My apologies. Uh, so anyway, after last episode, it has not been going well. 4-2 uh, loss to Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Ibu Adams and Adam Ida with goals, but we just got outplayed. Adam Reach with a hat trick. Rotherham, we had a 3-3 draw. Uh, we had the three, uh, you know, we had to come, uh, you know, we were up basically right at halftime. Uh, three to one, gave up a penalty, and then an 84th minute equalizer. So that was gutting. Wigan, a 2-0 loss, just again outplayed. Bristol City, 2-0 loss. And again, 2-0 up. Eka Bakar was sent off in the 64th minute. And we gave up two goals in a two-minute span, including a goal by Casey Palmer and Naki Wells for the equalizer. So that was uh, that was nice. So we're back for the FA Cup third round today, Doncaster, and then we'll play Reading in a league match. So let's get to it. This is the team we're sending out. We're going to be going with the uh, with the modified 4-3-3 wingers, 4-5-1, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Ida up top, Kennedy Collins on the wings. White and Pilge in the center, Adams at the base of the midfield, Wharton, Kitching, Rawson, and Williams across the back four. O'Malley in the goal. Uh, we are looking to maybe make a couple of moves. Uh, we've listed O'Malley, uh, and we'll have to replace him. I think Ta Ta uh, Tia can do the job. I think he would be a decent keeper for us. Uh, but we, you know, if we can get enough money, maybe we go out and get us a little bit better goalkeeper. Uh, we also have James Trafford, a uh, young 19-year-old. And again, he's not horrible, but he's not ready. Uh, Tia would end up being our starter at the, in the meantime. Uh, if O'Malley goes, we're going to have to get the right bid for him. We have also offered out um, Liam Shepard. Uh, we've offered him out. 27 years old, and uh, he's unhappy not getting enough playing time because he's playing behind Nico Williams, a lone player. Uh, so we've offered him out. Just again, he's making 351,000 a year, I think. So yeah, just uh, trying to cut the wage bill a little bit. Uh, we've also asked for an extension on White's loan to the end of next season, and Pilge is at the end of his contract uh, at the end of this season. Uh, I cannot put in a bid for him yet, but I will be watching him to see if we can offer him a deal to get him on permanent. Uh, if he does sign somewhere else, you know, we'll see what we can do. All right, well, let's get into the game today. I'm going to do my best, and you know, I, you, you know me. I mean, I can ramble with the best of the of YouTubers. Um, but I was reading a thing the other day yesterday in fact on uh twitter and one of the sites was saying that uh there was a poll about you know what was the perfect length for a football manager video and it looks like 11 to 16 minutes was the um runaway winner with that and mine are normally 25 to 30 minutes so don't fart around here man <laughs> uh and that was uh, one of the two least favorite. So I will effort in trimming the fat off of some of my episodes and see if uh, if that can help draw some more interest in. Oh, nice ball into Collins. And I think it got tipped away. Should have put that in the net. Oh, still on the high from uh, Leeds win last week. Uh, well, their win, their moral victory against Liverpool. We did lose four to three, but they needed two penalties, one of which was questionable. So, but the thing is, we're already on just key highlights, right? I, I don't know what else I can do to shave the game back a little bit. The only thing I could do is kind of cut some of the fat maybe before and at the end of videos. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do I talk too much? Um, there's a shot, and it's in. Adam Ida, his 11th goal of the season, gives us a 1-0 advantage. In the 12th minute, that was a good build-up play. Very quick, to the point. Boom. We're pretty much dominating the affair. 
Here's a corner near post, and it goes off the crossbar. Oh, we've had a couple go off the woodwork there. Well, only one. I guess that was a lie. We had one that went over earlier. You guys saw it. Rewind that and just check it out. Offsides. Ida loses out on his second goal of the match with an offsides. And I think I had two players offsides, so I don't need to see that. We'll move on. Let's, uh, let's demand more. Because really, if we, if, you know, weeding out any of the extra talking is really just talking about the team and the save and, and thoughts and ideas. And, you know, don't know if you guys care about that or not. So, you know, basically, if we do cut that kind of stuff out, it's basically, hey, it's me. Here's the first match. We'll be right back. Here's the second match. Uh, we'll see you next episode. Take care. Uh, so I don't know what you guys think about that. Collins goes wide. Ida had his shot blocked by the center back. Let's see if I can show a little. Well, it's a little late now. A little late. Come on, boys. Tighten up. There's a cross in. It is headed out. Can we get a counter? Oh, that was horrible. Horrible. Songi cannot convert thankfully o'malley makes the save at the near post i think when i put o'malley up for uh, a move i think i was thinking i had another goalkeeper i think i'm confusing it with my uh with my other save <laughs> so that might not have been the best idea uh, but anyway we'll keep going yeah i mean you know i think we can probably get a decent goalkeeper with the budget that we have if we have to, and it would probably be a step up. Let's see. Let's take Rawson off for, I think Wharton can do the job inside. Let's do that. We'll bring Rich, Richie on, on the right, left side and Dominic Ball at the base of the mid, and that'll be our two early subs. And let's ask for some creativity. There's Nico Williams. Uh, a lot of guys I was asking for extensions, and Collins goes wide of the mark again. Man, he is just having some uh, trouble with his aiming device today. There's White. Wharton. He had a guy way on the outside making the run. All right, Williams comes back, gets the ball. There's the follow-up, and it goes out of bounds. Keeper with the last touch, and that'll be a corner to Forrest. And we're holding on to this 1-0 advantage. It's there, but we can't make anything happen. Damn it. All right, not sure what happened there. It looks like that's going to be a goal kick, though, so that's all that matters. Um, you know, we're dominating the match here. We're already on attacking. Let's take off work into box. Let's take some more shots from the edge, see if we can't make those count a little bit more. Let's bring on Lucas Talbro. Get another yellow card off there. Third yellow on the season on Sunge, I think is his name. And there's a goal by White off the set piece, his sixth of the season. And that was a brilliant shot. Very good bend on that ball. I would love this guy to play for us permanently. But at least we've got him for another year. Definitely a championship level player. And knock on wood, if we can get to the if we can get promoted here. I think he could do a job at the Premier League too. You know, he won't be a top flight player in the Premier, but I think he could do the job. All right, that's headed out. All right, let's uh, let's go in and do our standard uh, slow the pace down, Mr. Goalkeeper, that we've been having them do. 
lately. So the transfer window, it's January 1st. The transfer window just opened. So we haven't done any business yet. Um, after the match here, oh, good save by Lum. Is that Lumley? Let's tell him to concentrate. Long throw. Oh, he almost dinked the keeper. That might have been his own player. Come on, boys. All right, one more corner opportunity. Pilge is going to line up for it. Headed out. Ball is there. Into Pilge. There's a cross, a header, and it's Kai Kennedy, his first of the season. He has been a quiet uh, man for us this year. Not much production, uh, not compared to last year. But remember last season we were playing him in the number 10 in a 4-4-1-1. This year he's more in a winger position. I think we dominated the game for the most part. Uh, excellent efforts. Uh, so that was a fourth round win. That's worth 180 grand. That is nice. All right, well, let me talk to these two guys off camera, and I will see you guys back. We'll have the draw. I'll do that as well, and then I'll tell you who we play in the fourth round, and we'll be with, uh, with Redding when I come back. All right, well, the bad news is our FA Cup run is over because we drew Chelsea in the fourth round. Uh, so, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting to make it past that round. Uh, we are here for Reading today. I'm going to go with a 4-4-2. Let's go ahead and go positive. And we already have that off. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much the same. It'll be Ida. Collins will move up top from his wing. I just think he fits better up there, but he's not as good as Ida. Freer and Adozi on the wings. White, Pilge in the middle. Wharton, McGinley, Ross, and Williams. Back four, O'Malley is there. And, of course, we... Don't have the homegrown player, so we are short one. We'll get the substitute notice, and that is what it is. So I was just looking. It looks like we're right around the 11-minute mark for uh, the, just one match. So I don't know what I can do. I, I thought I blew through that relatively quickly, but we'll see. Um, so let me know a couple things. One, do I need to shorten the the, the episodes up? to less than 30 minutes. And I know a lot of guys do, Lujo, Loki, they all do 30 minute episodes. And every once in a while, they'll have one that goes 15 or 16 minutes, just that there's no highlights. Um, but as long as you're having highlights, not sure. Ooh, we got Lucky there. That looked very similar to um, Mo Salah's goal against Leeds this past weekend where the center back headed the ball out and he took it on a volley and just buried it right in the top corner. And there was no shot for the, uh, for the keeper. All right, Collins turns his man. He breaks into the box. He takes a shot. Oh, a little unlucky, a little unlucky. I think Ida could have done a little better job being up there to give him an outlet. All right, well, not much in the way here. White goes back post, bounces away. Too many people right there on the goal line. Oh, my God, and that goes off the woodwork up into the stands. Setting up a goal kick. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Let's go with early creativity. If I'm not seeing any more, any more, we might go back to that 4-5-1. All right, good clearance. Chested down. Ida turns over on it. Brilliant ball into Collins, and he cannot take it with his left. Um, let me take a quick look. Ida's right only. Collins is right. You know what? I'm going to make the move here. All right. Collins up here. All right. We are going to take him off. Let's bring Adams on there. We'll make a little early sub. And I think I can be okay with that for right now. Still a little early. 
out the Wharton Pills Freer. Oh, that was a cross right into his man. Collins pings it. How was Collins offsides? There's no way in hell Collins was offsides. That had to have been on somebody else up here. Uh, McGinley's offsides, but I don't think he interferes in that play. He wasn't offsides when the ball was passed back to Collins. Oh, that's brutal. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm going to take him off. Let's bring... Let's give Ashley Hunter a go out there on the wing. Show some passion. I think there might be an offsides there, but they don't call it. Come on, come on. We're already attacking. Let's bring Dominic Ball on it right back. I'm going to drop back to positive. We're going to ask for some more passion. All right, Adams is there. Plays it back to Ransom. Over the top, Ball. Little deflection. Oh, man. Come on, fellas. Just get it into the net. My God. This will probably be our last chance. About a minute left in stoppage time. And I don't think we're going to get anything out of that. So let's go ahead and finish the day. Take a look. A lot of draws today. Southampton beat Leeds. Oh, uh, FYI alternative universes so i uh i had i saved the game leads fired their manager i think i told you guys that and uh, i declared interest i saved it as a separate save declared interest in the job in that save got an interview and got offered the job at one point one point two or 1.3 million a year so about a million dollars a year more um but i said you know what you know let's go ahead and keep going with forest green so i reloaded the other save i didn't play any more games but we came back to this save uh to this part of the save at the time Leeds job came open did not declare interest in it and i have not been approached so now if they approach me then we'll have to revisit but um in the other one i did declare i, I applied declared interest got the interview and got offered the job within a week uh, i mean it was boom 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 uh, in this one we you can see we've gone about a week ahead haven't heard from them and that's okay all right, uh, we will come back uh, probably for Chelsea and Middlesbrough uh, end of the month. That will also get us up through the end of the transfer window. So we'll catch up on any transfer business uh, that we may or may not have. Uh, and I did promise you guys we would take a look. So we've got right under a million dollars in transfer budget. And I've got about a million four, one point four million. The problem is um, we actually lost money last month, um, so I'm a little concerned. We just said this is this is misleading because we just set a gate receipt record for the um, Doncaster match. That was our biggest gate receipt in club history, so don't put much stock in that. But anyway, we'll see you guys for Chelsea, uh, fourth round FA in the next episode. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the save. What do you think about my decision with leads? And uh, right there, boys. Uh, and uh, hey, we'll see you next episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Take care. Bye.